Hey everybody, it's Becky. It is our last day here at Walt Disney World in December of 2022. And uh, oh, what a trip it's been. Probably been the most miserable I've ever been on a Disney trip. Probably had the least amount of fun this time, but this time was the most memorable. There are a few things about the resort that I really just was not happy with this time. Uh, because I feel like the quality has gone down, but like I said, it was the most memorable. I did feel like crap most of the trip, not Disney's fault, but I did rough it out. We went to the Christmas party. Um, we got to do a lot of rides that my mom used to do when she was younger, which was really, really great. I know I centered a lot of this trip on her, but I did get to experience a lot of things with other people that have never been here or haven't been here in a while. So I am grateful for that. I will probably be coming to Disney World if I ever come back at a different time, but this is our checkout day, so let's see what happens today. But we have just come from the resort hall. We got some to-go pastries because it was just so crowded in there. Yeah. Now we're gonna walk back to the room and uh, see what we do today. Yeah. Mom's taking some last minute pictures. She's gotta get another picture of this guy. Little weird, Mom. Does anybody else have a crush on Scar besides my mom? Please, please let me know, okay? I've heard about a crush on Simba. Scar, I guess, you know, if you like the bad boys better. I don't know. We're rolling back into the room, probably for the last time, before we take our bags downstairs and chill for a bit until the bus ride gets here. All right, so what would you say was your favorite experience this trip? Uh, going to Magic Kingdom, revisiting the times that I was with my father and mother, on all my favorite rides, like Peter Pan, It's a Small World, um, the Country Bear Jamboree, uh, Space Mountain. And they are good memories and they brought some closure and healing since my parents have been, you know, gone for three years now. But also I made new memories with my, you know, Luke and um, Becky. And um, so it was bittersweet, but you know, it was some closure, but also and now I have double good memories of being able to be on rides with uh, Becky and Luke and uh, the same rides. And um, the other parks, the rides were brand new memories because going on other things with my children that I had never gone on before with my parents. So it's been a, it's been a pure joy and I'm so glad I came to Disney this year in December of 2022. All right, what was your favorite part of the trip? Um, that it was like more relaxing, spontaneous. It wasn't rushy rush like last time. My first trip here, um, we were trying to get every single thing done because we had never been here. This trip, it was like we didn't have to rush to get the different things because we already experienced them. So it was sort of just going with the flow and things like that. And that's what my experience was in February when I came. And it, it's much different. Once you, like, do half of the stuff, it's not as, like, serious to you. You can pick and choose what you really want to do at that yeah. point. Yeah, and, you know, and the first time, like you said, we didn't know that we were ever going to come back. So we were just trying to do, like, everything. But, yeah, it was, you know, more relaxed. And it is a yeah. different experience every time. Mm -hmm. But do you have, like, a favorite ride or experience you did this time that, like, blew you out of the water? Um, I have two. I have um, Flight of Passage in Animal Kingdom, and I have Galaxies. The Guardian. I know. Guardians, you're I know. I can't. The Guardians names. Rewind. Yeah, Guardians um, of the Gal. I, I Cosmic did, Rewind. That, Cos that's Cosmic Rewind. I did rewind. it twice. I did it with my paid Lightning Lane and with the queue that was free. Yeah. And I was going to say the same thing. Like, every time you come here, it is a different experience if you are blessed enough to be able to come here. My first time was the most magical. It was brand new. It was it was a whole new world to me, and it was like great. Uh, my last trip, it was more of a relaxed kind of like go with the flow. I think I had the most fun there because I wasn't just I wasn't worried about getting everything done like Luke just said. And this time for me, it was just more memorable. Of course, like I get fluid in my ears a couple times a year, and of course, when I was here this week, it happened. So I would like literally get off the bus and feel like I had a couple, you know, but and that wasn't Disney's fault. But like I said, every experience is different. This was the most memorable, but for me, the, the, and I can't, ugh, I can't think of the name of it either. The Guardians ride was literally the best thing about like, well, not, the, I, I don't want to say the best thing, but as far as rides blew me away, it was the last thing I did last night at Epcot day. 
10 out of 10 would recommend. I pay for it, and I we had a mix-up anyway with the queue. Long, I'm not going to get into the story. I did end up paying for it, but it was worth the money. I would, that's a must-ride anytime I come back here. Totally worth it. Totally worth feeling like I had five drinks when I got off the ride because of my equilibrium right now. Totally worth it. But now we're going to check out. We're going to find something to do until we catch our bus back to the airport. But these were our rooms in December 2022 at Art of Animation Little Mermaid Suites. We are now back on the Skyliner. We're going to try to hit up Riviera, maybe Caribbean Beach. Taking our last ride, Mom. I know you, you're looking the other way, but she's on her phone. But here we go, our, our last Skyliner ride <laughs> of the trip. Yep. And we're just gonna enjoy the next couple of hours before we have to go home. And I gotta say, I swear, it's always the nicest day when you have to leave. Like, it was actually cloudy when we came in this time, and it's, it's a beautiful day, and I feel like I could hang. I said this last time, like, I'm good right now. Like, I don't feel the need to, like, come to Disney right away again. But I know in, like, a month from now, I'm gonna wanna book another trip. Um, if I could, I really would do this, like, once a year. I don't know how people do it. But um, now that like I'm feeling better for the second half of the trip, I really, I really could like hang. And now we're stopped again. So maybe we're not going to Riviera, but we will no, see. We're on. It just we, so here, here's the thing, okay? And I'm gonna turn the camera around, right? This experience, right, and I know it was pre-pandemic. It was 2019. Our guest experience with transportation, like internet like it's stuff like that even guest experience was different right but it's been the best weather i've ever had on a trip so i have to say that so the current skyliner line for the ebc is a little bit long and we don't want to take a chance of like spending too much time at riera so we're going to caribbean beach i know luke is very happy about this because he's always wanted to visit so let's just do it i filmed this on our last trip and i just i love this shot right here of the Skyliner at Caribbean Beach. It, it, it's, uh, Luke, it's, Mom, this is gonna be a whole vibe. This is, we're gonna feel like we're at the Caribbean right now. You're gonna love it. Well, this is one of the, essentially one of the resorts in the future trip I wanna stay at, so I want, I'm glad I'm exploring. I know, I just said he's always wanted to come here and visit, so let's go. We've got the beach and the hammocks, a whole vibe going on. I said this last time, the camera just does not do this resort justice. It looks so much better in person. And here I go, just filming Caribbean Beach. Just cause it's so beautiful. So nice around here. Luke loves it. I think my mom loves it too. And after a three year wait, even though we're not dining here, look who got to see Sebastian's Bistro. You take your moment, Luke. You take it. <laughs> Vibing now. What do you think, besides all the gnats and bugs? Oh, the gnats and the bugs are fine. The Caribbean, yes. I've been in an actual Caribbean, and this is like, uh, almost reminds you of the actual Caribbean. So, what do you think? Oh, I love it. I would definitely stay here. It's nice. It is. Our animation still has my heart, but this... Well, I'm just saying, like, art yeah. animation like, look, prices... Would, I'm still listening. Keep going. I'm just showing. Like, I would be willing to spend a little bit more if we stayed here in the winter. That, I agree. We're going to go into the main lobby now, go to the food court, and I'm going to go get their reactions. This is so cool. And it's nicely decorated for Christmas, too. Look at this. Let me let the lighting adjust. Uh-huh. We're, we're going to stay in our next trip. <laughs> Luke's soul. He's like, we're staying here next time. I don't know if you guys heard it. Mom, what about you? I'm, to take, I'm trying to take pictures. I know, but what do you think? I think this is awesome. This is, this is great, right? This is definitely a possibility. You can sit in this lobby for like an hour and just be in all of Mom found more pens. She has an obsession. An obsession with these things. It's a thing, isn't it, Mom? Yeah. <laughs> like, for a specific one. Just remember, we're already full with our luggage, okay? 
have yeah, no more everything space. everything I get, I put in my bag right now. All right, just, you know, I'm just saying, we're limited on space, so you can't buy the whole rack. Oh, that's a shame. Okay? Sorry that's to break your heart, Leela. So we're here at the food court. Luke got a pulled pork sandwich, a big old cookie. Oh, I need a ketchup. And my genius brother goes back. I could smell the Instead of ketchup, he, is, he put hot sauce on his fries by accident. Only some of them. <laughs> Yeah, but <laughs> then he brought back vinegar and hold on. Did you finally get the ketchup? Yes, I got the ketchup finally. <laughs> I'm sorry. You made my day. And I got the Cuban sandwich and mom got the bacon cheddar burger. Lunch was good. Now we are gonna explore the resort a little bit more. The fountain here, like I said, the lanterns. All that stuff. And now we're gonna walk over to the Caribbean K, like little like relaxations area, I think. And I think across from that is the Jamaica area. And Luke wants to see that. Isn't it so cute? It's just a cute little chill spot. They have like little, like chill spots all over this place. And it's open from sunrise to sunset. Well, it says that that actually is a play area. Oh, uh, yeah, there is, okay. There, so there's a playground area right here. But just like, there's still like plenty of place to chill, you know? So since there aren't any kids on it right now, this is the little like play area here. They got these little tiki huts where you can like, I guess, sit right there. And these little like walkways to the beach over there, I think in the Jamaica section. Don't quote me here on this. And like a little, another chill spot. Then there's a little gazebo. You could like literally just sit here and just hang out. And just the views I feel like of like the rest of the resort. They are just beautiful around here. Isn't this great, Luke? No, we're staying here. We're <laughs> He's so <tripping>. serious. <laughs> so now we're gonna cross the bridge to the other side here. And this is what the walk over to uh, this section looks like. You got a great view of the Riviera as you're going across this bridge. And I, I've been saying since like summer ended how I've been wanting a beach day. So this is as close as it's getting. I really don't have time to really sit right now or lay here right now and relax. But uh, when in Rome, take a couple minutes to enjoy the scenery, you know. They had this perfectly raked and I ruined it with my footprints. But we are making our way out now and like look at this. Disney wildlife at its finest. I call these things cranes. They have another name though. We have them in New Jersey, but perfect. But how did you guys like this? I love it. We're going to stay here. You? It's gorgeous. I feel like I'm in the Caribbean. But we are back on the Skyliner. We have a couple of hours before we get picked up still. So we're going to take this last ride and enjoy it. I hope you guys have all enjoyed watching this. This this was a very, like I said, meaningful vacation. I'm glad I did it. Probably won't ever do Disney at Christmas. Uh, yes, Disney at Christmas again. But it, it, it was what it was. There were magical moments. So I am grateful I got to do it. Anyway, as always, take care, stay safe, and have a five star and a very magical day. We're stuck on the plane. We've landed, but the gate is stuck. So we have to back up and go to another gate. And it was a bumpy ride. And it's our first officer birthday. Yep. 
I think you should back up and just go back to Florida. I'm all for it. I would wait a few hours for the storm to pass. I felt like we were on Star Tours again during that flight. Not even kidding. If this is the worst thing that happened though, plane wise, this trip, I'm good with it. I'm really good with it. This really was. This was. But we're home, so it doesn't matter. Oh well. And we're back home. Unfortunately, uh, we have to come back. Yeah. Darn.